Okay, we're gonna do a quick demo here, you guys, on twin cam to check a crankshaft run out. And we're gonna use this uh, great fueling tool here. We're dial pinned on the one side, and you're gonna see a couple marks on here for mounting for a twin cam. The Evo would be down here. We're gonna match up here. We want this just loose right now. This is a really fast and easy way to go ahead and check run out. Now, what is important though is to get these snug. We don't want the plate to be able to move around or it's going to falsify our reading, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just wherever we're sitting, we'll go ahead and zero this. And then could I get you, uh, CJ, to go ahead and uh, rotate the motor? Okay, do you see how we drop down? Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead and just stop. Stop right there. At any point in time, I could go ahead and just re-zero it. Stop. Okay, I found one of the lower spots, so I'm going to make that my zero. Make sense? Doesn't matter if you did high or lower, but what we want to be able to do is we want to draw from the zero. We don't want to have to add one thousandths below zero and one thousandths above to say two thousandths. We need to find the worst spot, if you will, and then create that zero so we can just get a real easy way to read the gauge. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just spin it around. Find that high spot. Right there. So we're just shy of two thousandths. So now we need to go against the service manual and see what the spec is. Here, when we typically measure run out per the service manual, they're having us check right here and right here. Okay? So the further out you go when something isn't true, that's going to get larger. Does that make sense? Yeah. So on this Harley, when I'm two thousandths all the way out here, the thing I have to ask myself is where does the service manual tell me to read it from? You get what I'm saying? If they want us to read it from out here, then yeah, it needs to be two thousandths all the way out there. Where we're actually measuring and why this is so critical is we're measuring where the crankshaft actually rides in the cam support plate. And when that crank isn't true or it gets tweaked or whatnot, it'll take this bushing out. So the other thing you ask yourself as you look at this bushing, and if you could see it's egg-shaped or it's severely worn, what do you know about the crank? It's out of true. Does that make sense? Okay, that was a real good, quick way to check with a specialty tool to see if your uh, crankshaft has any run out. The crankshaft is just a little less than two thousandths out of round. We'll go ahead and note that on the work order and then look up the spec in the manual.